Hello, I'm Alison Bellwood, Director of the World's Largest Lesson. This is the third year that we've had the honour to be included as a 100 innovator, and it's great to be able to share some perspectives with you today. At the World's Largest Lesson, we are working in the Education for Sustainable Development space, using the SDGs as a framework for engaging students in real world issues and helping them identify where and how they can make a difference. I'm lucky enough to spend a lot of time meeting some of the most brilliant and committed educationalists around. It makes me excited about education and more determined than ever to make a difference. It does also make me frustrated though, that we're not getting the kind of traction behind change that I would like. Education just doesn't seem exciting to the wider world. I'm a marketeer originally, and I spent a lot of time working with brands that you see in supermarkets every day. And so I often imagine what it would be like to relaunch education just as once I could relaunch a brand. We could give it new positioning and purpose. We could make it look different on the outside and we could reformulate it on the inside. Externally, it would appear dynamic and current. And on the inside, its formulation would be a brilliant recipe of developing a sense of self resilience and personal responsibility. It would build skills to learn from others, form strong relationships, engage positively with technology and be able to navigate an uncertain world of work. And there would be a special ingredient, ingredient X. And that for me would be a consciousness and love for the earth that we all live on. Wouldn't it be great if we could shake everything up in this way? But we just don't seem to be able to do it. Education is such a beast of a system and it's changing so frustratingly slowly. So it's led me in my work this year to look at where we can just make a start with some of these things and give as many teachers and students the chance as possible to try something new in a way that's actually possible just to build into your everyday busy schedule. Every year we pick a theme from the SDGs and build learning experiences around it. This year we've focused on climate and the environment. Goals 13, 14, and 15. We've developed simple and thought-provoking learning that takes a broader look at the impact of climate change and also enables children to reflect on their feelings and share or create a space to share those with adults. It's not a full climate curriculum, but it is a start. We've also zoomed in on an area of learning that we feel is often overlooked in the classroom, ideation as part of problem solving. The ability to consistently generate ideas and express them impactfully is something everyone needs. So we formulated or formed a co collaboration with the new Earthshot Prize and created a resource pack we're calling Generation Earthshot. It's an organized framework for teachers to use in which children take a number of steps to innovate and invent solutions for climate and the environment that are linked to the five problems that are set out within the Earthshot Prize. People sometimes ask whether what we do is create a resource bank for teachers or whether we're running a campaign. In truth, it's both. And it's probably both for any of you trying to change the system by fighting for a new approach that works. This year, our campaign has helped children to speak for themselves about the kind of learning that they want. We've collected messages from 10,000 children in over 100 countries about the difference it would make if they could have more climate-based learning. And we're really delighted that this very week, an enormous billboard of those messages is in place centrally within the blue zone at COP26 to ask decision makers to make this happen. This cycle of learning that leads to action is really satisfying and it would be great if we could all do more of it together. This network is really powerful and is becoming even more so. Let's use it to campaign for change and to make sure that that change happens. Thank you.